Tesla stock today is presenting a 3% discount as an analyst downgrades Tesla stock. It also turns out that Tesla Model Y is now under NHTSA investigation over steering wheels falling off. This and much more today. There's quite a bit of news, so let's go through all of it. And it is not all bad. Tesla rolled out a new full cell driving update which should enable all new people that buy full self driving to use it immediately after purchasing it the markets today are all green though so if the markets were not green tesla stock would have probably dropped four percent today let's start with berenberg analyst adrian he downgraded tesla stock from buy to hold we downgrade our rating to hold now that our buy thesis based on misplaced fears of a price war appears to have been accepted by the market. We argued that Tesla can take market share at a gross margin of about 25% excluding credits, which indeed is where we see investor expectations heading for 2024. Tesla stock trades at a forward price to earnings ratio of 46 times compared to 20 times for the S&P 500 as investors bacon above market growth raised for the EV beast. Valuation now leaves less room for disappointment, the analyst says. But with this comparison, you're actually making the case that Tesla stock is cheap because you look at S&P 500 and earnings per share, they are not growing that fast. It takes about 10 years for the earnings to double. And for Tesla, it took how long to double its earnings? In 2021, Tesla had $5.5 billion of net income. And last year, Tesla had $12.5 billion in net income. Of course, this year is going to be much slower. But long term, I would expect the pace to really accelerate new vehicle segment may boost market size by 75 percent says this analyst but likely to take time moving into a smaller vehicle segment would open up a significant volume opportunity it could expand tesla's total addressable market by one trillion dollars excluding credits which is 75 percent larger based on our forecast of market size in 2026 we model a slow rollout in the segment however not breaking through a 1 million vehicle delivery run rate until 2028 here's what we know we know tom zoo wants to build the factory in mexico in nine months after it breaks ground so let's say about one year from now we know tesla will start producing the new vehicle in that factory Tom Zhu said it takes time to install all of the uh, robotics and all the machinery, so give it a little bit over one year. So next year, in 2024, we should expect to see the new vehicles on the road. Tesla Model Y this year, I believe, will have more than 1 million deliveries. And first deliveries began about three years ago. So... In three to four years, basically, you could say Model Y reaches 1 million deliveries on a yearly run rate. And yet this analyst says that, that the next generation vehicle will scale just as fast or as slowly, whichever way you, you would like to think about it, as the Model Y, which is much more difficult to produce. And Tesla did not have all of the knowledge of how to make cars fast. Tesla has so much more experience now, it would be absolutely absurd and ridiculous to say that it will take that long for Tesla to get to 1 million cars. Tesla would really have to screw this whole thing up really badly for it to pan out how he's expecting it to happen. I am seriously not impressed at all by this analyst, just like I am not impressed at all by his rating. He did not only not beat S&P 500, but he missed by a lot. So I don't think this analyst has much credibility, really. We finally have FSD 11 rolling out slowly, but it is rolling out. This full cell driving update will merge driving on city streets and highways into one single stack that is a big deal and we have been waiting for it for a little 
while now. Imagine this. Imagine when you drive a car, you can only drive on city streets. And when you want to go on a highway, you have to change seats with a person sitting next to you while you are driving. Yeah, that's probably not going to work very well, right? So that's uh, one reason why this is a little bit of a big deal for everyone. Here are the release notes if you would like to read them. And yes, Tesla has included fixes for all items that were a problem for Nizza. And if you would like to read exactly how Tesla solved all of the issues presented by Nizza, you may pause the video. Well done, Tesla. This was pretty fast, I would say, for this recall to be addressed and fixed. We have some updated numbers from Europe and specifically Germany. You can clearly see that the Model Y is the number one choice for Europeans in Germany. The two-year, 10-year treasury yield spread is now over 100 basis points. It is now the biggest it has ever been since about 1980s. This typically indicates a recession, so buckle up, everyone. Regulators have opened a new investigation into Tesla's Model Y SUV. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration launching the probe after receiving two complaints that the steering wheels can come off while the SUV is being driven. The investigation covers an estimated 120,000 vehicles. Jim, they're all from the 2023 model year. Two complaints, we got to make that clear. Well, we see recalls from other companies, including one that my travel trust owns for Ford, involving tens of thousands of cars, tens of thousands, and, and trucks, and no one says anything. And, and you get this one on a couple of steering wheels. David, I mean, at a certain point, does it not feel whether it's the FCC, whether it's any investigation into this, this company, there's no Teflon, it's Teflon, it won't. You don't need a steering wheel anyway, the thing rides itself. Well, not yet really, but it is coming. With Tesla, investigations just never stop. The two vehicles that had the issue with the steering wheels falling off, they had low mileage. The report said the steering wheel just suddenly fell off. Luckily, no one got hurt. Interestingly, though, it is not just Tesla dealing with steering wheels potentially falling off. Nissan is also recalling vehicles. For Tesla, it's not an official recall yet. It is just an investigation potentially that could lead to a recall. And now let's take a look at Tesla's latest FSD beta version this one you will want to watch so what we're doing here is we're taking a left at this light and then we're taking this clover uh, loop around onto the interstate so that's where the big transition should happen this software on previous versions at this intersection has kind of gotten in the wrong lane a few times so we're going to see if there's any differences there all right there's the lane network projecting it over and that actually looks good so far and it needs to stay in this left lane and get over hey it nailed that one perfectly so that that felt just right because now I'm in the correct lane to go straight and into this clover leaf I'm really liking this deceleration deceleration visualization um, maybe just because it's new interesting look at the, uh, the th that car went through a red light we had the green but it waited nicely all right let's see how it handles this curve here speeds it's got a ramp speed they've never noticed ramp speeds for me before it's kind of doing its deceleration just based on curvature not on any sort of speed i can see that the car is decelerating though which is in the path all right and as soon as we get off of this ramp we're going to be in the new single stack highway mode because normally right about coming off of this on-ramp is where it turned to navigator and autopilot previously all right and our left lane is clear so let's see when it wants to jump over if it's going to stay here all right it wants to change lanes there it is projecting that lane network and we are in single stack deceleration in front of us it did that really well while it was changing lanes 
Welcome to Single Stack, everybody. Here we are, highway mode. And uh, we got our city streets visualizations. Looks like a promising update so far. A big shout out to Chuck Cook for doing this update. And this is the Tesla stock buying opportunity explained by Elon Musk. My name is Matt Post. Just like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.